New at 9, students in the Pulaski County Special School District are taking an active role in a different kind of class that meets students on a more personal level. It's called advisory, and as our Jay Burr found out, it's opening their eyes to a whole new level. Advisory is a class that does not have a set curriculum and one that evolves with the needs of each group of students. Basically a support system that we devised, uh, devised in order to meet the needs of the students academically, socially, emotionally. This class allows teachers to work in smaller groups with students to give them any help they need specifically. Call your name at home, make sure you tell me. If we can just address the student and what he needs to be successful on an individual basis, then he or she will perform at a higher rate and give them exactly what they need to be successful. The COVID pandemic has certainly changed how the class is presented, but many teachers also felt this time would be necessary to do more than just review certain subjects, but also catch students back up. We are going to fill in those learning gaps that uh, we had because we were out for five months. But beyond the academic component, we make sure that the kids are learning how to be responsible leaders in our school and in their community. Many teachers have said this environment has allowed students to realize they are more similar than they may think, even if they see the world differently. And to work through the issues that are happening outside, um, outside of the, the walls of our school, but in, in the world and in society. And so it's great to have an opportunity for them to express themselves and to learn from each other. Addressing students in all three facets of learning and helping them to not only grow, but to be ready when they leave the realm of high school. We want our students to be prepared and ready. Another interesting facet of advisory is a new tool called Naviance. This tool allows students to self-assess their strengths and weaknesses and how it could possibly translate into the workforce. Sounds interesting.